The Western Wall, a place of prayer, wonder, and beauty. But what is it? It's the remaining wall from the original King Solomon Temple. Not quite. No. It's the wall of the uh, uh, city of Jerusalem. It's a wall around uh, a holy place. Close. I have no idea what it is. She knows more about oh, I don't it than I do. <laughs> Anyone else? It's the a supporting wall of the second temple. That's right. The western wall supports the Temple Mount, where the temple once stood. But most visitors to Israel, and most Israelis for that matter, have only seen a small segment of the wall, actually about one-fifth the original. The western wall stretches northward from the public prayer area, shown here in color, for over a thousand feet, much of it now underground. This area has only recently become accessible to the public. The Israeli government began excavations here soon after Jerusalem was reunited in 1967. The work was co-sponsored by the Ministry of Religious Affairs, the Holy Sites Authority, and the Western Wall Heritage Foundation. Till 67, till the Six Days War, was a very small wall. It was only a part of the wall. From that time, we dug and we discovered the Western Wall from a corner to a corner. The Western Wall tunnels reveal the history of Jerusalem layer by layer. A tour begins with chambers built about 600 years ago. These acted as a support structure for the streets and buildings above them. Keeping track of thousands of years and layers of civilizations can be tricky. The solution is an intricate and exact model of the Second Temple during the rule of King Herod. The model shows how the Western Wall looked during the Temple era, how the city of Jerusalem came to be built up around the wall over the centuries, and the relationship between the tunnels and chambers and the Western Wall of today. The tour reveals more than just more wall. For example, visitors can see the biggest building stone ever found in Israel, weighing about 600 tons and spanning over 44 feet. Transporting stones of this size would be a challenge even to modern day engineers. As impressive as the supporting walls of the Temple Mount may seem today, they were simply there to support the most holy and central place to Jews, the Holy Temple. The Temple, the center of the Jewish world for hundreds of years. On pilgrimage holidays, Jews would come here from the far reaches of the world to bring their first fruits and sacrifices to God. Occupying the center of the Temple complex was the Holy of Holies, which housed the tablets of the Ten Commandments received by Moses on Mount Sinai. After the Second Temple was destroyed by the Romans in 70 CE, virtually all that remained was the Western Wall. Pilgrims to the Holy Land would come to the wall to mourn the exile of their people, to pray for the renewal of the holiness and sacred rituals of the temple. Although it's been nearly 2,000 years since the destruction of the temple, scholars and artisans at Jerusalem's Temple Institute are recreating its vessels and instruments. Seeing these objects in full scale, and made of the precious metals called for in the Bible, allows visitors a glimpse of the grandeur of over two millennia ago. The Holy Temple was not just a beautiful building or a uh, relic from our ancient biblical past or some great synagogue, but actually it was the meeting place between God and man and the focal point for the spiritual energies of a large segment of humanity. And all people were able to come there to renew their spiritual energy and to really feel the presence of God in their lives. Back underground, we're exploring the longest tunnel, which exposes the full length of the wall. This point is the holiest place in the west wall, if we can say, because we are opposite the Holy of Holies. This is the bedrock that the originally Moriah Mountain. Herod used the mountain, the bedrock, as the foundation of the western wall. We are standing now on a part of a street, a street from Second Temple period, 2,000 years ago. With a little bit of imagination, even to be emotional, you can think who walked here 2,000 years ago. Tunnel tours are for everybody. Tourists, Israelis, young and old, and they've recently been made wheelchair accessible. But reservations should be made months in advance. The Western Wall Tunnels in Jerusalem, a must on your next visit. <laughs>